All right, gang. Uh, part unknown to this damn burner deal. Uh, I'm gonna transfer everything over to the, to the drawing board and try to go over where we're at now. All right, I'm back. I asked a friend of mine at the welding supply store. Got a leak. Friend of mine at the welding supply store about could I use an acetylene regulator to run propane through? And then I was, I didn't want to waste a whole lot of uh, money. So uh, what I did, I got to thinking about this little junior torch set. It's got a Harris 601. Anyway, they want a high pressure regulator, and I figured this thing goes up to 400 pounds. Should be enough. And a needle valve. So you got everything there. You got regulator and a needle valve for controlling fuel gas. So it's fuel gas compatible. And all I have to do is get that fitting out and repipe it and then or I'll figure it out. I'm gonna repipe this or one cylinder on the old acetylene gauge to it. That being said, this motherfucker got me. anyway. So we have I went back to the store and I bought more more pieces of pipe fitting. I didn't think the three inch deal was gonna do me. Cause my tubing's t uh, 10 inch. I've almost got everything I need, except for some time. I got these a six inch long nipples. So that would get me. There's the, the, the box, the burner box forge box, the forge housing, whatever you want to call it. I'm going to put that in. We have our tube. And I changed my mind. I'm going to make the one and a quarter in the burner in, and then we're going to feed it through the inch and a half in. Because I think we need more intake than we can get exhaust. We can always shut it down, but you can't open it back up. It's the rule of building a smoker anyway. So I'm going to take a piece of inch and a half pipe. And weld on to the end of this. Probably about that long. Maybe that long. And put some slots in it. And then I'll put a sleeve on it. Cap the end. So it'll be in there. The burner tube will be in. Come up. Go out. Do the thing. And then I'll have a sleeve on it. That I can adjust with a set screw. I'm looking at chili forges and a couple of the cheaper models off of Amazon for uh, advice and uh, diagrams and uh, example. So uh, anyway, we can use one of the little three-inch nipples there. Put the tip on it, and it goes down in, injects the gas in, boom, fires up. It'll be 90 over, and then we use one of the longer six inch nipples to get us outside the casing housing, and then 90 back down, and then run to a three inch, and, and then to a piece of flex. Probably use some of this rubber fuel hose off this torch here, and then over to the regulator assembly, sitting on top of the fatty 20 pound cylinder off to the side. That's the plan. Plans are made to change. That's what we're going to do. I'm stuck in this zone right here. I got to get a piece of pipe. I got a piece of pipe. I got to make the slots. And I'm thinking about taking a piece of uh, exhaust tubing or something. Even have to slit it, TIG it, where it sleeves around it nice. Put the adjusting screw on there where I can, you know. I could go up and down and, and, and cover up the holes. That's where I'm at. I'm about to get all the pieces I think I can need to do this thing. And uh, 
hopefully we'll be a little further along on the next video i'm still in the, the material gathering stage i guess you'd say in research and development so uh that's all i have for today i know i hadn't posted in a while this is where we're at trying to build this gas burner probably going to end up buying another 50 pounds of coal from uh, blacksmith depot hats off to them they're making money um soon as i can We'll be cooking with gas. Like, share, subscribe, comment. This is Mo Damn It. Tire Creek Iron Works out.